Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss another very interesting machine learning service provided by AWS and that is called Amazon Translate. Okay, so I am pretty sure you have used Google Translator. There basically we use that particular tool to convert from one language to other language, right? Some text we give as input and basically what is the destination language or what is the target language we specify and that input language along with the input text sometimes we specify, sometimes we leave that as auto detect input language, right? And Google basically do something and return us the text as per our requirement of the target language, right? Similarly, that in AWS, one service is present, which is called Amazon Translate. So in my this particular video, I'm going to give some demo on this particular service. Not only that, I'm going to show you that how you can integrate this particular service with other AWS services like Lambda and all, right? So let us try to understand one problem statement first where we can apply this kind of Amazon Translate and then I will go to this particular pipeline building from scratch, okay? So suppose you are working in a company having the name, let's the data build, okay? I have taken the name kind of hypothetically, it is not at all related to some real company. If it is, then I am doing this not intentionally, okay? Just hypothetically name I have taken, just dummy name for discussion purpose, that's it, okay? So suppose you are working in a company called Let's the Data Build and customers of that particular website leave product reviews across multiple languages, okay? That is customers, some customers are belonging to France, some are from Germany, some are from some other region, maybe they are Bengali. So they are basically giving the product reviews in their own language. So multiple languages, the reviews are coming. Now as a developer at Let's the Data Build Corporation, you have been asked to build an application that translates the product reviews across multiple languages into English text so that everyone can understand that and management can take some decisions based on the product reviews, okay? If it is different, different language, then it will be hard for or it will be difficult for management to take some decisions because they will not be able to understand the reviews properly, right? So you have to develop some kind of pipeline which will convert different different languages to English text, right? So that's what I am going to discuss. So for this particular discussion, the pipeline which I have considered kind of this, basically we are going to create one API. In that API, suppose end user will make some post request along with the text passing as payload with that API request. It will be hitting the Lambda. The Lambda will connect with Amazon Translate. Will translate the language and return the response that's it okay so this kind of pipeline we are going to build obviously i am going to use python and boto3 is required for this kind of integration with lambda and different aws services as we know right so without any further delay let us directly go to aws management console and first let me give some little demo on amazon translate right okay so here if I search here, I will get Amazon Translate and here I can give the source language. Either you can leave it as auto or you can specify some particular language what source language will be. And target language is suppose English or you can choose anything else also. Then here you can put some text. Okay. So maybe for example, for the time being, I am taking some Bengali text. Okay. So I have taken this particular one as auto and see Bengali text is khub bhalo. Khub bhalo means very good. Okay. So it is auto detecting that okay language is Bengali language and then it is returning very good. If you just click on this application integration, you will be getting this kind of JSON. How basically this particular Amazon Translate is taking the data and working. Okay. So text is khub bhalo. Whatever we passed. Source language code. So it is auto. Okay. Maybe you can specify some specific language or leave it that Amazon Translate will automatically decide and target language code that is in which language we want to translate that is EN. EN stands for English. Okay. And then the response we are getting like this translated text equal to very good source language code is BN. Okay. So now see I, as I told you right that this particular one is a Bengali language but we have left this as auto. But when returning the JSON response, it has detected the source language code as BN. 
BN stands for Bengali, right? And target language code is EN. EN stands for English, right? So basically, the target language is English. The source language, whatever we pass, that is Bengali, and outcome is very good. And obviously, as we know, that khub bhalo. If if in Bengali, uh, that is in English, is nothing but very good. Maybe for example, I am taking another Bengali statement. If you are someone who is Bengali watching this video, they can easily understand. Ajke rabo ha khub bhalo, khub bhalo. So if we just send this kind of thing in Bengali, it will be translated in English like today's weather is very good, which is quite good and it is doing pretty well, right? So without any further delay, let's directly see how we can build this pipeline, okay? So step one will be Amazon Lambda function or Lambda service will basically communicating with translate. So that role is required first, okay? So we will go to IAM. And then here we will go to roles, okay. And then here we will create a role for lambda. We we'll go to next permission, and here we will give translate, okay. So see, translate full access. Let us give one more thing. Obviously required that is logs, okay, for CloudWatch, right? That is CloudWatch access for logs. CloudWatch, if I write, let me give full access. You can be more specific. I'm not going to those details. Next tags, next review, name, Lambda. Translate, some name I'm giving and I'm going to create the role, right? And here my IM role is created. Now I will go back to my AWS management console in a new tab and here I will go to Lambda and here I will create a function authored from scratch, okay, demo translate video yt. Runtime environment, I am choosing Python, right, change the default execution role, just now we created a role, so use an existing role, existing role is this one, just now what we created. And then here we can simply go to create function, right, so here our lambda function is created. Now here this code we can delete and for this particular discussion purpose I have already created a code. Very simple, you can easily understand. First we are importing Boto3 which is required to integrate in between Amazon Translate and AWS Lambda. Then we are first creating the client like for example for transient cluster we use Boto3.client then here instead of translate we write EMR. Now here we want to create client for translate we are writing translate. That's it right. That is simple service name. Then def lambda handler event comma context same kind of function definition and then here what we will do that in AWS API gateway while making a post request in the payload we will be sending the text okay so text will be key and text the value will be whatever we want to convert that local language to English right so event of text we are taking and then here translate response translate client so we are basically using the client which we what we created here and then translate text is the function and then here we need to pass these three things okay that is text in source language code so different customers are writing their reviews in their own language right so there is not a fixed source language so we are keeping auto so basically we are telling aws translate that you decide the source language and then you translate those to english okay right so target language is fixed which is english then we are printing the response and anyway we have seen the json response looks like how right it is this kind of json response so basically we can just extract the value part from this particular key that is translated text right so here i have written that one only that is returning the translate response and then translated text that particular basically key we are returning like dictionary key value pair how we extract right that is same key we are using to extract the value part of the translated text. That's it, nothing else, okay? So I will copy this particular piece alone and here I will go back to my AWS Lambda function. I'll be pasting this. So the same code I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section also, you can take from there and adjust as per your own requirement in your business requirement, right? And then here I can simply go to deploy and here my code is deployed. Maybe I can test this. I will go to test section and here, I will pass this particular one as text, okay? Then here I will give colon and then here maybe I will 
was this particular statement which is basically meaning today's weather is very good and then let us test it okay so successful today's weather is very good so our this particular machine learning model is perfectly working now all we need to do basically make a trigger with api gateway for deployment okay complete application it will be so very simple nothing new we will go to aws management console we will go to aws api gateway right and then here we will create a rest api so here rest api is there we will click on build right and then here click on ok then new api right and then api name hello translate okay and then here create api and then here i can go to create resource and then i can give hello world some name random name i am giving so this will be our resource path and then here we can click on create method and our method will be post method i will check this particular one and lambda function will be this particular one whatever we created will click on save i will click on ok right all these things i discussed earlier in detail so i'm just going this particular one little fast so this is our complete picture without any further delay we'll deploy this api we'll create a deployment stage in development environment maybe if you want you can deploy in quality analysis or qa or production whatever and we can click on deploy we'll be getting here the link right so we will directly test it in postman okay i'll go to postman i will put this particular url not only this but we need to put the resource path also so i'll give one more slash and what is our resource path i'll go to resources so our resources is this particular one right that is hello world okay i'll copy this particular one paste it here right and then instead of gate i need to put post method okay and in body i can pass the raw text okay so here i can pass text okay as i have told you that our key will be text and then here we can pass the value maybe i can put ajker abohawa who we follow right and then i can make a send request okay see today's weather is very good perfectly it is working so how it is working we are making end user request using postman it is hitting api gateway api gateway is sending the response to lambda lambda is taking the text part using amazon translate to convert the text to english by auto detecting the source language and sending back the response so maybe i can show you with some other language also i can go to google translate okay maybe here i can use some let me take source language as english okay hello brother how are you okay maybe i want to convert this to french right so hello brother how are you in french is this particular one that is bonjour frere comment first two okay something okay maybe i am pronouncing this particular one in wrong way but let's see how, whether it is working also or not so now in the text part instead of this particular bengali text i will pass a french language okay so one customer has given the review in bengali language other one is putting in french language right so now let's send the response request and see hello brother how are you it is perfectly doing right so not only in bengali language it is auto detecting the source language whatever we are passing and based on that we are getting back the response right so this is how this particular pipeline is working i hope you have understood this particular one how you can use this particular one in some other use cases maybe you can use in snowflake external function okay that is suppose all these reviews for a particular product is coming in a particular snowflake table then you can integrate that with api gateway aws lambda and then you can send those reviews to lambda in using external function first it will call amazon translate and will convert that to english and then you can use amazon comprehend to detect the sentiment hidden inside that particular review and then send that back to snowflake right so this kind of pipeline you can play with in big data domain using snowflake cloud data warehouse platform right so i hope you have enjoyed this particular session 
If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.